Alright, hey everyone, welcome back to more We Happy Few. Uh, been. had a couple of technical issues as well, so. <clears throat> they're all fixed. Um, so, I've been exploring the map. Um, I went to go and get all flowers at one try, and then I died going down a cliff trying to get a flower, so <laughs> that did not exactly work out. So, plan B, gone through all the roads, uh, well, at least once we can <clears throat> in this part of the map, anyway, that we can access. I've um, got plenty of missions as well, houses, uh, some missions are daytime, some them are nighttime. Some you can do the daytime, but it's better you actually do them at night, um, which if I can remember to, I will explain then. Got plenty of houses, which we'll do at nighttime. Get started, dig spot, and then we'll head to the train station. So, I would normally have been getting out, hopefully about three if not more, um, three or more clips, but unfortunately, just because all of sudden issues, a bit of technical stuff, I'm only going to be giving out two, but, excuse me, it's a new method recording and so far it's working very very well so it does also mean I'll be able to release clips um, to release uh, footage to you all as soon as really okay interesting oh god how do I get through here again oh yes um a little suggestion, if you want to hear about some of um, Arthur's sort of, uh, well, it's kind of backstory, kind of just random mumbling. If you're roaming around the map, obviously if you're going to find flowers, you have to do a lot of roaming around the map. <clears throat> uh, Arthur actually talks about different things, uh, things about Winston Churchill, uh, you know, about the old times. Um, you know, things by his brother Percy and all this sort of stuff. Something starts to that. Some of the stuff's actually quite interesting. So, um, yeah. I'd recommend you check it out. You know, just wander around the map for a while and see what he says. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bees. I'm sorry. Oh shit. Oh, completely forgot there was a bee nest there. <laughs> God, okay. <laughs> right. Let's try and do without killing ourselves. That would be a fantastic idea. You've probably also noticed a bunch of things up there, which <clears throat> we've also received some new schematics because I've unlocked the fast travel locations um, for a part of our map. So, um, oh, there, there's the hearing bombs. So I've collected some petals there's a lot like literally there was a point when I did my first playthrough on my own in my own time and <clears throat> I must have collected over a hundred and twenty give you an idea and that's just in this you know in this small map all this map collected about a hundred around a hundred to a hundred and twenty petals and that's just the healing petals so <clears throat> Oh yes, now some of the letters I've found. I was wandering around taking some from letterboxes, some from places. Um, the houses I haven't actually gone to, I'll wait till <clears throat> you're with me when we do this, so... Church Services. Dear fellow Wellington, Tonian. For we are, st for we are not all still fellow citizens of Wellington Wells. Good news. God has forsaken us. He is still with us even amidst the rubble of these wastelands. Do not take our present suffering as a sign of his abandonment. For he tested his only son even to his moral limit. Sorry, moral. <laughs> mortal. <laughs> well, might as well be a moral limit as well. <clears throat> like Job, let us, never, let, us never, let us never lose faith. God, tongue twisting time. Fantastic. For there are those who turn aside from his love, who have given their faith to witchcraft, or most outlandish of vegetable idols, oh god, or even demons of unspeakable shape. 
Do not succumb to these delusions. Where there is faith, there is redemption. And if you have lost hope in this life, then all the more should you prepare yourself for the next. Let us gather Sunday at noon on the bridge at Lud's home and make ourselves a congregation. Reverend Charles Peter Le Liebchen Leave Martha I must write to you even if I no longer know if you are alive or even if I am we live in a world of absurdity and the most absurd is that we are apart I wish I had never been a coward and I had joined you on the last train it seems I am one coward after another I don't even know if what you loved in me. Oh, sad. I wish to God we will meet in the afterlife. Until then, my sweet, my dove, I am ever your love. Do you see my son? Is he well? Why I'm asking? No one can send this letter to Germany. Oh, <laughs> what the hell is this? Ah, dearest Kate, I think I found a boat. Not a real boat, of course, barely more than a washtub with a washcloth for a sail. But the smaller the vessel, the more likely we are to sneak past the patrol boats. Don't you think? I know nothing about the currents, but it must be pretty hard to sail west and not land in Ireland. I haven't seen you in seven days. I hope you're alright. I'll look for you in the shadow of a crash V1 at noon on Saturday. I hope to go to get this. If not, I'll try to come back for you if I make it. Love you. I hate these times, Tony. That V1 is when we first came in here, <clears throat> uh, when we first came um, out of that hatch, and we saw that uh, like a rocket plane. That was the V1. And interestingly enough, that was one of the last mega structure super weapons that the Nazis used in the end of World War II to try and win the war out of desperation. So I think they had a V2 as well. So I'm pretty sure they did. So. A couple of trials. That was interesting. Uh, just interesting for knowledge, anyway. Recordings. Ah, the executive committee. Dear sir and madam, we understand that you have exiled us to Garden District to protect yourselves from our dreadful memories. It seems a bit unfair to us, since none of us is willingly a downer. We do not. We don't choose to take joy. It's not a style of life that anyone would choose. What makes us wastrels is that when we take joy. It gives us most violent reaction. The body thrashes, the memories come back, etched on fire. But surely this is news to you. We write for another reason. We miss Uncle Jack. Oh yes, of course Uncle Jack shows up piped into the garden district, but unlike the ones we used to get in the village, these seem to be recordings. The proof is that you keep rec Broadcasting the same news over and over. When I was, when I was a decent proper citizen, Jack always had something new to say. Surely that just can't. Surely that can't. Can't just be joyful forgetting. Couldn't you play us whatever Jack's saying at the moment? Or if you must play us recordings, could you at least swap out the recordings from time to time? Abandon us if you must. But please don't take away our old friend Jack. Oh. I can't blame him for that, to be honest. Let's have a look. What's up next? Vector. Okay. Help to Brian. I spotted what seems to be a case of full blown plague in the garden district. Of course, my colleagues and I immediately resolve the matter. I don't suppose anyone could have could have got across the Lud's home bridge. It could be what? It would be well to check. It should be would. It would do well, but anyway, that old British language for you. <laughs> Much like other countries' old languages, it's always difficult to understand what they meant. Assuring that vector is still shut off, then we must consider the plague to be possibly waterborne. In that case, dumping the bodies of the victims in the river needs to cease forthwith. Don't you think? It's bad enough what already gets through the filters at the water plant. Hopefully we've nipped this outbreak in the bud. If not, we'll need to equip the constables with gas masks on eel pie as well. 
Yours very truly. I assume that's Sergeant. Oh, uh, no. No, Saint... No. Saint John means medical doctor, MD. And a bridge. Another one from the committee. My God. They're quite busy this month, aren't they? Dear committee members, it's a lovely day for it. We are ransacking the last of the old Victory Gardens. There might be there might be enough potatoes in the entire garden district to last two weeks. Do you plan to starve us all to death? If you have no food to spare, could you at least open a bridge so that we can try our luck in the wilderness? I'd rather die ban by a bandit's hand than starve. It's so much more glamorous. <laughs> I don't suppose I'll blame them, to be honest. <laughs> oh, if you think about it, I mean... I'd be sitting there thinking like that, you know? Oh, yeah, there's statistics. Okay. Right, let's head over to the damn train station if we're going to find out where the bloody entrance... Oh, it's... I was going the right way to begin with. That really helps, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Let's have a look. There's a cutscene when we get there, so... Let you enjoy this. What are we going to do if there isn't food? Will you shut it? I'm trying not to blow myself up. Hey, lock up your ball bags, I'll piss in your corpses! We're coming for you, you greedy bastard! Go eat a banger, you leaky scanner! You're done hoarding all the bee meat! My god! Now that's actually Ollie. <clears throat> He's actually well you'll find out. He's a good person though in the game. Now I'm just gonna sneak past these guys. Good. Let's try and be quick about this. Yeah. Please don't make a fuss. You know, just made them take the kids. Instead of us bringing them here, singing your little bloody bridge. Oh, you shut the fuck up. We're here for food, not a stone. Okay, let's get some scotch while we're at it. Um, any more scotch? Oh no, that's a lantern. <laughs> How do I get down to the tracks? Don't worry, we'll figure that out. Gotta be nice and careful. Now jump! Oh. Oof! I honestly thought we weren't gonna make that. My god. There we go. Nice and careful. Now! Oh! God, that's close. We don't have another bomb, do we? There has to be a way in. He gets in. What the hell? You're here. I know you're here. I'm going to be a bit patient here because there actually is stuff we can loot off these guys. Come on. Oh, that's right. Just at the door. Fantastic. Now 
there should be someone walking around that room soon enough. No, Peach is gonna stand there. Fantastic. One over there. Look, it's not you, it's me. A man's home is his castle, and it's not your bleeding castle. Did I just get out of his sight, did I? Oh my god. <laughs> How did we manage that? I honestly was certain he was going to come and attack us. So what are you going to do? He's going to stand there. Yes you are, you bastard. Sorry, not sorry, as they say. <laughs> hello, hello. I didn't even know this was here. Oh, actually, I thought it was a phone. It's a cabinet. <laughs> okay. Oh, of course, there's nothing in it. Oh, there was a phone. Oh, we couldn't hijack the phone. We could get a cabinet. All right. Let's see what else we have. We only don't have any skill points yet, sadly. All right, let's just get through. I think this weapon is all but completely useless isn't it oh my god it is <laughs> definitely in that case you'll stop it for a branch ah get up there come on there we go And prepare yourself. Ah, oh, that's how I get down. Right. <sighs> I'll just have to find the tracks and walk on out of Wellington Wells. So tell me all the names on there. The Boyle family crossed out. By taxi. Oh my god. Been to send my taxi. There must be some. I'm swear there's a conspiracy going on around here. Let's have a look. 
Did I just see who I thought I just saw? Oh my god, Arthur Hastings is on the list. Is Percy on the list? I'm curious. No, Percy's not on the list. Wow, okay. <clears throat> oh yeah, now I remember what I was going to um, say to you a lot earlier. Um, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but the music for this game. Um, is it just me, or does this remind you of the music from The Last of Us? If you go in the daytime, uh, wander around the map in the daytime, I swear the music is so similar. It's just not creepy, but you know what I mean. It's the equivalent. It's kind of interesting. At least I think so, anyway. And there's another thing I also noticed was the um, was the characters. Now again, it's probably just me, but um, for anyone who has played or watched the Dishonored series on uh, YouTube, um, you'll notice the characters um, are designed a certain way, just in terms of you know they're very like a very like a cartoon type character. I swear the characters in this game are similar. They remind me of the characters from, um, you know, from the that from the Dishonored series. I find that very interesting. Switch replacement. We're gonna need that. Dear Sebastian, what a brave boy you are. Daddy says you're on the train and climbed out the, climbed, out the back into the tunnel just like we practiced. He was, we were so worried when we saw the train pull away. What the windows had been locked. Excuse me. If it was, if it was agony, we'd know you were safe. Daddy says you're cross with him for not coming earlier. But please understand, it's too risky. Except on days when you can inspect the tracks. Daddy will bring you food every Tuesday, trying to make it last. We don't have Russian coupons for you anymore. But that's alright. I need to reduce anyway. Courage, my little soldier, mummy. P.S. I've asked Daddy to, sm to smuggle Aloysius to you. I assume that's the teddy bear. I know you think you're too big to sleep with a teddy bear. Hey! But it's good to have comfort of home. No? Yeah, I'd agree. I don't mind admitting this, but I've still got... I had a, <clears throat> a teddy given to me when I was... Uh, a couple of weeks old and I've still got them and I love them just as much now as I did um, all those years ago I don't, honestly don't think that's peculiar I think that's just shows um, good memories of you know of when you were young anyway anyway dearest Sebastian happy birthday I can hardly believe you're 10 already of course you're such a brave boy now that you've oft now that you often seem much older there's a slice of carrot cake in the box. I know it's not your favourite, but we'll all have to make do just a little longer. Next year, I hope we'll have a proper birthday cake and candles for you. This will can't last forever. Your loving mummy. Well, at least they're trying. Oh, there's the cake. God, that's seen better days, I'll tell you. <laughs> I know it's a war, but um, still interesting. It's interesting for people who don't, um, for don't know or don't realise. It's true. I mean, I may not have been born back then, but you know, they really did have um, food coupons and everything like that. And those vouchers—that's not a joke. They really did have them, and usually they had. Well, I, sp I don't know. If it depends on where you were, but um, they had like a book for it, like a voucher book, and. They were set up that way. Uh, do we need to? Oh, we need to switch the power, on, don't we? <laughs> the switches for the door there. Always do be careful. A D B C. Okay. A D B C. 
Hey! Congratulations, you have passed through the first part. I <laughs> just thought I'd do one of those, you know, game show hosts do that. Congratulations, you have passed through the first test. That was a terrible way of doing it, but... I've never been a game show host, so I never have to sound crap at it intentionally. <laughs> the hell? Oh, my <laughs> god. Oh, god, it's okay. I'm so sorry, Percy. I should have got on the train with you, like I promised. The rule was if a kid was a day over 13, what could I do? You could have kept your mouth shut, Arthur, and not told them you were 13. That's what you could have done. You do need quite a few Jimmy bars for this part. Um, namely because there are actually quite a few payphones around here, so... If anyone's just during the series of this part, um, I might as well just let you know. Um, <clears throat> the software you get basically I use for those um, uh, like vending machines that you've seen around. Um, that have no come popped up here and there. You can use them to buy items or crafting items that you'll need during the game. But I'd be sparing because you do find a lot of stuff in the game. So only buy something if you absolutely need it. Because once it's gone, you can't get it back. At least as far as I know, anyway. Now, I'm being sparing with this torso like it's almost gone. Now, the first time I did my first playthrough, I had absolutely no idea how to cycle through the quick slot section, so I didn't have a torch. So... So I'm intentionally being quite sparing with the, um... torch use. Because there's no way yet to actually access um, uh, there's no way to actually refuel the power cells so all right let's just walk through here Too old to go to Germany, are you not? Please, no! You can't take care of yourself! Bloody Bobby. I told him I wanted to board even if I was ten days too old, but we don't make the rules anymore, Mr. Hastings. I shouldn't have told him they got my birthday wrong. Don't even know why I did. Should have just kept quiet and got on the train. I was, you know, from my, while I was wandering around the map, I learned a little bit more about um, Percy, and to be honest, um, I mentioned earlier how he had, how he sounded, had autistic traits. Um, I'm more and more convinced that's actually the case. Although back then, um, regardless of his alternate history, they would never have known. I mean. Um, bear in mind that, believe it or not, for those who don't know, um, because I had, I've had friends who were autistic, um, I did some research, and autism was just actually discovered and first diagnosed around, um, officially diagnosed around, uh, the early 1930s, but nothing was officially ever done about it or officially researched into until around the mid-80s, so it shows... How little Bloody some hell. people know. There's been some sort of caving. No shit. So much for walking down the train tracks to the Britannia Bridge. What the fuck do I do now? Oh look! Bloody hell. It's a little lost lamb. Where's Bo Peep? In a curtsy way, I bet. <laughs> That's little Miss Muppet, you Muppet. 
Uh, 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 can we pound him now? Yep. Actually, I've just... Cow drops. Yes. Nice. Hell yeah. Can't we work something out? No. Nope. Why? Beautiful. Couple of cow drops and you easily win. Of course, you don't have anything a long, hard fight against you. <laughs> now, if you're playing this in high difficulties, um, I noticed some people saying you get at least twice, if you're about six enemies or something, and if you play on hard, I assume you probably get about eight or nine, so... <laughs> better than mine when selecting difficulty, because it just means you have more and more enemies that get stronger. Oh, so we have to lock pick. Oh, we have to do this one lock pick. Okay, right. <laughs> Try and use torch sparingly, if that's possible. Gilly bomb. I'll tell you what, I like the music at these intervals in the game, it's, I think it's, um, fairly appropriately chosen. Now, I might just point out that other, there are some people watching this might thinking, well where the hell's your Jolly Broly? Uh, <laughs> fair question. Um, to be honest, um, I did pre-order the game, but I think I might have got it from the wrong store. Um, pre-ordered it from the wrong place because I didn't get it. I didn't get the code on release. Um, I tried going, I had a look online and I went to the site that loads and loads of people recommend to get um, a free downloadable voucher for it. Um, I did, I, act, I tried to activate the code, went through this whole voucher apply for this voucher um, and no matter what I kept on hand to apply for a voucher it didn't let me so no matter what I did I was stuck and I couldn't get a Jolly Broly but to be honest um, on my own playthrough in my own time I had uh, apart from a couple of weapons I constructed I had found so many branches and the helps as they're called, and other pointy sticks and like bayonet things and all this type of things, you know, from scavenging around, you, you don't actually eat Jolly Broly. You really don't. At least that's in my opinion. Maybe that's just going from me not having access to one, but um, I read somewhere that someone believes that you might get the blueprints for it further on and later on in the game, so um, that'll be interesting to see if we do get blueprints for it. It'd be nice to construct one, you know? At least I think so. I'm sure, yes, there was another one here, I remembered. Okay. Let's get upstairs. Bloody hell. That's Ollie. Ollie! Come for me, have you? Ollie? I'm Arthur! You won't get me! You won't get me, you bastard! Ollie! Uh, no! Oh it's shit! It's Arthur! Bloody murdering wastrels! You've gone mental! I'll save you, Margaret! I'm your old neighbour, Artie! Always lying! Little Artie! Artie's gone! They took him away! Ollie, no! They You're didn't! You're lying! You're a waste of... Ollie, it's Arthur! 
Well, why didn't you say that before? <laughs> we did. Oh, my God, God Artie. Oh. Little Artie. Yeah, for fuck's sake. Watch your mouth, laddie. What would your mum think? I thought they took you away. No. They had my birthday wrong. What? Sorry? No, of course not. No, you've got it all wrong. That was Jack turned you in and I what tried to save you. Right. I remember now. You came back from the station. The only one. You don't think they hurt him? Percy. The Germans aren't animals, you know. They just wanted to make sure we stay quiet. And we did. Spot of tea? Uh, that's very kind of you. I I'm not thirsty. Go on, we'll have one. Margaret. We have to run after water. <laughs> I have to find him. Any idea where he might be after all these years? Not really. I know I have to get out of Wellington Wells. I, th I thought I could take the train tracks to the bridge. Aye. The only way to the Britannia Bridge is the train station and the parade. And good luck getting into the parade. You could stay here. Remember when you and Sally used to stay with me? When the... But it's young Artie. Meg, you remember Artie, don't you? No room at the inn for young Artie? No. You're right. You're always right. Sorry. Margaret says it's best if I keep to myself. Oh. Sorry to bother. But... Margaret thinks we could help each other. Really? Uh, brilliant. There's a warehouse in the old German camp. We could burgle it. The Victory Memorial Camp? Where all those home army chaps run around practicing stabbing people with bayonets? What, what do you want me to do there? Run around yelling, here I am, shoot me? Or are you going <laughs> under the wire? There's a, a thing I need from their warehouse. A if thing. you help me, I'll get you out of Wellington Wells. Charming. I just need you to turn off the power in the camp. That's and all. This isn't going to get me killed. Don't be a great girl's blouse. I'll meet you at the bunker after dark. Don't worry about the sentries on the bridge. I'll make sure they get a good night's sleep. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Sure you so do. I just show myself out then. Ollie, I don't actually know the way out, you know. Oh well, let's search around and see what we can collect. <laughs> God. Well, he's definitely lost his mind. Fully delusional. Although at least he's being helpful while being delusional, so it's a good start. <laughs> right, let's see what we can find here. Ah, victory beat! Not that that's going to be over that like you saw. From school. Margaret. What's her name? She was supposed to go on the train, but then she disappeared and no one would talk about it. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, wasn't there something around here or is that just my imagination? Could have... it's probably just my imagination. <laughs> That's just typical. <laughs> oh boy. Oh! You do, don't we? Oh, what am I doing? Wrong damn selection menu. <clears throat> okay. Ollie says the only way onto the bridge is through Apple Home Station in the parade district. Which means I've got to get to Apple Home first, which means I've got to get the main null. Did I mention Ollie's a loony now? He keeps talking to some girl who isn't there. And he's got some sort of shrine to her. Margaret. That's who he talks to. Sally and Percy and I went to school with her, Margaret. What's her name? Didn't we? And she didn't get on the train, did she? Something terrible happened. And no one would talk about it. Ollie's very cheery about us going to rob the Victory Memorial Camp. Or rather, him robbing it while his old army mates chased me round. Sounds like a lovely way to get bayoneted. They're very much anyone's cleaned up the barbed wire. Oh, and the tanks. Let's not forget the tanks. On the other hand, 
He promised to get me out, get me to the Britannia Bridge, so I might have to take him up on his offer. Can I trust him? Of course not. Did I mention he's a loony? On the other hand, what else have I got? Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to wait till I've completed a couple of other side missions. And now I'm going to buy this one because that's actually a re... I'm si when I, I cannot, um, you know, highlight this skill enough early on in the game. You can forget about the health bars and everything because that really is seriously a useful skill to get. No, we're not going to worry about that. Okay. And uh, no, we're not going to do the Scottish play first. Uh, hmm. Where is that? Where is that again? Completely forgotten where that is. Ah, Crazy Lakes. Oh, it's not too far away. If that's in that case, we will head over there. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just trying to find a mission that um, what made the episode ex go for t go for way overly too long, because there's plenty of stuff we can do in next episode, and in between this next one, I'm going to go and collect all those flowers, and this time I'm not going to get myself killed while doing it. Now stopping the runner may seem quite tedious, you're probably thinking what the hell do we do? Um, basically the same action we need to do in combat is shoving someone. Same rule applies in this mission, so... Now we're just going to work out where the bloody hell he's gone to. Well, it doesn't kill you. <laughs> Makes you stronger? No? Okay. Uh, oh, actually, I've just found another mission we can do. That's a good point. I completely forgot about that one. Oh, yes, Before this is important here. Let's listen in on this one. Before we begin, please listen to a personal message for our prudent friend. The fox is in the hen house. The fox is in the hen house. Who's our prudent friend? Who do you think? I think that's Prue they're talking about. I honestly think that's who they're talking about. Prudent? <laughs> I could be very wrong, but that's a theory I've got anyway at the moment. I'm getting old. Well, I suppose he is 34, so he's getting on. Let me through. Thank you. That's Mrs. Marley. She used to live down the road. I wonder if she's got anything useful. Oh, bollocks. I've become a ghoul. They never told me what that specialist said. The one in London, when I took him to see him. More and more evidence he's possibly autistic. Anyway. Let's read Marley's letter. Dear Archie, I doubt you'll ever read this, darling. But if you do, please forgive me. I know you wanted me to wait for the fourth flavour, but I couldn't. The vomiting was bad enough. Oh, boy. But the memories came back. They began screaming every day, all day. And the steam whistle and those horrible steel wheels. Horrible huge steel wheels every day. I still hear them out there, but it's quiet. If you talk to them a bit, they quiet, bleh, they quiet down. Even though you know you're lying to them. And they know it. It's a ghost town here. The streets are crowded with ghosts. Most of them are friends. 
but there is very little to eat. I'd hope to make my money last a little bit longer. But if I could put in a safe for keeping, and I've lost my key, you'd mock me, f me for a silly woman. But I haven't eaten in days. I think if I can get this safe up to the roof, I can drop it onto the pavement, and if all goes well, it will break open. I wish you were here to help me. You're so good mechanically. Yeah. She must have felt so stupid for me. Well, she didn't get the safe open. That's one thing. Except she took a cliff dive of a house. Or she lost the footing. That's more likely. Oh, great. Now I've got a rock. Okay. Yep, that doesn't give us any extras. Start. Okay. Let's try and find him. Oh my god. Yes. Try, try. Yes! Don't hurt me! Jesus, don't hurt me! Christ. Arthur? Is that you? You've changed, haven't you? You want my recipe, don't you? Here, take it. Good Lord, Arthur. I never thought you'd turn into one of those. Sick up tea. To cure food poisoning. By making myself throw up. Oh, God. Oh, but I wind up having to eat a lot of rotten things and having to throw them up. Well, there's a couple of missions where they kind of do involve that slightly, so... That'll be for another time. Anyway, if we're going to end this part here. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we'll catch you next time when... Not for the Scottish play. I'll have to, I'll have to turn that one off. But we will be looking at doing some other missions. Um, and if we have time, um, I will switch it tonight. And we will go and look in the people's houses. See you then.